Hey guys, welcome. We've got some forever fern goodness going on here. Get you all situated. Hello, hello. Okay, so this is a brand new stamp set. It'll be available on June 3rd for purchase, unless you are a demonstrator, and then you can purchase it now. And these are the dies that go with it. So it's a bundle. These are some of them, actually, there's more. Let me grab the other ones. I was just cutting a bunch of stuff. There's these as well. So these guys, cut out the imagery and then these cut out solid cardstock really beautiful okay so we're gonna set that aside so this is the forever flourishing and this is forever fern but they will come in a bundle beginning june 3rd so i was just sitting here working on punching all of these out and i'm only gonna make one card but since I was already die cutting and already had my card stock out, I just die cut a whole bunch of stuff. So that is a tip for you if you like to create more than one of the same card. Um, while you have all your stuff out to die cut, just keep on trucking. Just keep doing it. Okay, so there's a few pieces there that we can use. And then I do need to to punch out a few of these really quick. And you can see they just fall right out. Well, literally, <laughs> that fell out. Okay. And we're going to make a split card, which I got this idea from Jennifer McGuire. She recently shared a video on YouTube making a split card. And I thought it was the coolest idea and I thought, I've got to do that with the Forever Fern stamp set. So that's what we're going to do today. Okay, we'll punch more of those if we need them. I don't know what all we're going to need exactly. So I have not made one of these cards yet. We're just doing it together for the first time because I thought that would be fun. And I wanted to show you a cool trick with your Stamparatus, which I have shown lots of times before. But just in case you've never seen it. Why not show it again? So you're gonna get your Stamparatus or whatever stamp positioning tool you might own. And I am going to use the die cut where I die cut these as a grid or a frame to get these all lined up for stamping. I think I'm going to be able to do this. Sometimes it takes a couple tries. Full disclosure. So just be patient with me. So what I've done is I've already die cut these out of Whisper White cardstock. You can see them up at the top of the screen. And then I am going to attempt to stamp them in their respective holes. So let's see, we're gonna use, I think we're gonna go for some shaded spruce to start out. And we'll see how I did lining it all up. Now I'm not real worried right here about getting a fantastic image because all I'm doing at the moment is just lining these up. So yeah, they're pretty much lined up perfect. So um, this is the only one that's off a little bit, I would say. So let's maybe, I'm gonna stick this in there. Sorry if my head's in the way. And all I'm doing is just kind of feeling where 
it butts up and nestles in. So let's see, I'm gonna try that one again and see if we got it any better. Yeah, that's about right. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We take this piece off and I'm gonna put this piece in place and lock it down with my uh, magnet. And then I can just take my pieces that I've already die cut in Whisper White. This is also something that I learned from Jen McGuire, I must admit. That lady is just too savvy for words. Okay, and then we're just gonna pop these in, ink them. So it's way faster to just die cut a whole bunch of stuff in white and then pop it into a template and stamp it. And then we can pop them back out. Those did not, oh yes they did. Actually don't think that stamped all the way. That's okay. Come on you stink pot, get out of there. Get on out of there. That's what my grandpa would say. Okay, so we're gonna pop some more of these in. It just makes life so stinking simple to do this, this way. I love this stamp set because it's very, um, it's very relaxing to me. Like the imagery and stuff. Oh, that's a much better impression. Yes, yes, yes. So this one kind of got squat, so we're gonna fix it. Okay. So we're gonna pop this one back in. But before I go any further, I'm just going to pop these guys in too. Cause why not? So, okay, let me see. I need to practice that, I'm always a little off. Yeah, you know, here's the truth. If, you, um, if you're a little bit off, let's see, that is easier than putting them in on stamp side, uh, stamp, okay. So if you're a little bit off, uh, it's not a big deal, okay? Like, nobody's grading you. This is not like, we're not getting a grade, I promise. And if somebody is grading your card, they need to go on with something because that's redonkulous. Okay, and then I just have one more um, of this one because remember we had to stick the one back in. So I'm just gonna stick this here so that we don't get ink all over the, the base. And ink these up, because I can still cut these out. Okay, gorgeous. Gorgeous. So now, here's what we're gonna do. We're just going to flip this over and I'm going to stamp these ones. So let's get this set in place. And hold please, hold please. What are we doing here? Uh, I need, first of all, the stamp. That's what we're doing. Come on, Wendy, get it together. So we're gonna clean these guys off and then I'm gonna stamp in a different color because we did everything else in shaded spruce. So I wanna use 
um, a different color for these other ones. And I am just using my Simply Chamois uh, cloth here to clean this up. The most amazing cloth in the whole world, but it did go on me. Look at that. I don't care. I actually kind of like having inky fingers. I'm going to admit it. It makes me feel like I've accomplished something. <laughs> is that dumb? That is kind of dumb. Okay, so now we've got this one, this wispy one, and this other little guy. So we're going to line them up. And we're going to hope for the best. I'm not even going to do a test stamp. I know that's, that's iffy. Hey, Beverly, how are you? Okay, let's see how we do now. We're gonna pop these bad boys in place. Speaking of bad boys, I just recently watched Bad Boys for Life, the, the last movie in the trilogy of the Bad Boys movies, and I loved it. It was so good. However, I do believe the second Bad Boys movie is still my favorite. I got to admit. Okay, so now we're going to use Pear Pizzazz and ink all of these guys up. And we're going to see how we fared. Hopefully I lined everything up okay. We're going to find out. Ta-da! Hey, hey, hey. I did a pretty good job, I gotta say. Okay, I gotta, I thought you were going to tell us about Kevin. What about him? Is there a story I'm supposed to tell you? I'm sure there is. Okay, remind me what it is. He's actually uh, on call this week. Kevin is my husband, for those who might be tuning in and not knowing. And also, for those tuning in who don't know me, um, my name is Wendy. I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And I'm sure you have gathered at this point. And um, I am using new products from the brand new catalog due to release June 3rd. And I have catalogs getting ready to go in the mail beginning Friday. So if you're one of my best customers, you're probably going to get your catalog first. That's the order I generally go in. And only if you requested one this year. So if you didn't request a catalog from me and you want one, you need to do that. Hey, Linda. Linda. Good to see you here. Okay. I gave Linda a hard time this week. She, I busted her chops a little bit. All right. So we've got all those pieces stamped. I'm going to set this aside. And we've got, you know, pieces punched out here and pieces stamped. And oh, I'm getting lots of hearts. Y'all are amazing. Um, thank you. Okay, so let's now get a piece of cardstock. We're going to use Whisper White. And let's see if I can make as cool of a card as Miss Jennifer McGuire did. I know I love this sweet too. And I do love green, Tracy, I have to admit. I have my coffee here and look, I'm going to try to do this without spilling it. I got this for Mother's Day from my nieces, Auntie Corn, like a normal aunt, but more awesome. 
<sighs> Yum. Okay. Hits the spot, as they say in the biz. Let's see. What are we doing next? We're going to grab our T-square ruler. Ruler. I can talk. I promise. Um, and I need a pencil. I'm going to have to grab one. Hold on. I, had, I thought I had one right there next to me, but I didn't. Okay. We're going to take and mark at four and a quarter. So that's half of this. This is eight and a half by five and a half. And then we're going to make a line right on down the middle. And then we're just going to start assembling. I'm freaking out about this. So where's my glue? There it be. We're going to start with this big old ferny looking piece here. Now these cards take a little bit of patience, but the cool thing is when you're done, you get two cards for one. What? Stop. I can't even. So just getting some glue down there and I'm just going to start laying, laying stuff down. We're going to see how this turns out. I don't know. It could be a total fail or it could be super awesome. We're going to find out soon though. Okay. And then we're going to do, uh, I don't know. Let's see. What do we want to do next? I got, I'm going to have to play with this here for a minute. We need some garden green happening here. Let's go here with the garden green. And then here. Mm, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I feel a little stressed. Okay, we're going to put this guy on. We're just going to go for it. See what happens. I'm actually going to trim this off though. So I just trim the stem off there a little bit at the bottom. Okay. And then we've got this guy. I think I'm going to have him go that direction. And then maybe, man, the stems are really kind of like messing me up here. Okay, here we go. I'm going to find a rhythm. Just be patient. I'm going to find a rhythm. I always do. Um, I really love this one. Let's see. We need this little guy maybe. That's really pretty there. And what else we got? I'm going to put this guy right here. And I feel like we need a little, little bit of sass right there. Mm, maybe not. That might be too much sass. I can't decide. I go up here. And on this one, we'll go this way. And what else are we going to do? Let's see. Oh, you know what? We should add some of these little doodahs. Yeah, I think that's going to be good. I'm going to do that. And then we're going to go each direction here at some point. So let's see. We've got <clears throat> this guy. He's got to go here. And this fella, he's got to go up here.
I know I'm kind of quiet, but I have to concentrate. <laughs> or I'm going to mess this up. Okay. I'm trying not to actually push everything down quite yet. So that if I want to move something around, I can kind of still get away with it. But I'm putting lots of glue so that when I'm ready, I can just smash everything down. I think you guys are going to be really wowed by this if you have not already seen her video. If you have, you actually might be disappointed. <laughs> okay. Okay. So there's that. Smash. And then we're going to go back in this direction. Okay, I'm gonna let that sit for just a minute because I don't want anything to come off when I chop it. And then I'm gonna go in and just do some fill-ins on each side. So, like right here, that would be pretty. So we're gonna add that. Here, I feel like this would be pretty to come kind of, well, I'll just chop you off then if you're going to cause me trouble. I kind of want it to come, there we go, maybe like that. I don't know, I'm not married to that. Okay, let's see, what else we got? What else we got? I really love these and I didn't use any of them. Um, maybe somewhere up here at the top. Let's see. What do we got? No. I don't know. I don't, you know what I need? This is what I need. I need these little spriggy sprues right here. I didn't cut any of those out, Wendy, for shame. I should have cut them out. And then I wouldn't be in this predicament, would I? Okay, I'm gonna run these through the uh, old machine here real quick. Give me two seconds. Two seconds, here we go. Stick this sucker up here. Throw this on. And this comes with four of these which is super handy because you can cut so many at one time. Sorry, I'm bouncing the table around. Okay. Here we have it. Now let's see what we can do here. That's much better. Much, much better. I know you guys are like, what is this woman doing? This just looks like an epic mess. It's gonna come together, I promise. You're gonna be like, oh, it's cute. Or you might not. You might be like, mm, that's ugly. She needs to go back to card making school. We're gonna find out. Whichever way it goes, we're gonna find out soon. Okay, that's good enough for me. We're, we're gonna call this good. Now let's do this fun part. Oh, I grump at myself the entire time. You have no idea. This is mild. I talk to myself. Yeah, it's bad. It's bad. Okay, so 
I'm going to use this old but reliable Stampin' Up! guillotine cutter. And no, they don't have them anymore. So I would recommend using a guillotine, guillotine, however you want to say it. People say it different ways um, for this. So you're going to line it up at four and a quarter. Remember, that's where we drew our little line. Hold it down and chop. And then you have two card fronts. with a beautiful front. Isn't that pretty? So then we're gonna finish decorating. Woohoo! Let's do that. These turned out great. Okay, so we got two card fronts here. You know I always like to throw a little score line on my card fronts, my card bases. Doesn't it look cool? So fun. Okay, and then um, we're gonna burnish the edge here. I would love to be able to take credit for coming up with this idea, but I didn't, so. You know, it is what it is, people. Okay, so we're gonna do some decorating with some images, stamping, or sentiments, I guess I just say. Um, so we've got love and laughter forever after to a friend that makes me smile, you can do this and hello. So I'm gonna go with to a friend that makes me smile uh, on this one. And I'm going to build in some of this, I think. Let's see. Because I kind of want the sentiment to nestle in. You know what I mean? Maybe I'll go this direction. So you just have, you know, you have to make some decisions is all it is as to how you want to I really like that. How you want to frame this in, how you want it to look. Eh, I don't like it. Okay, so we're gonna do this instead. I'm gonna get this on a card front because, well, you know, I better not. Well, yeah, I'm gonna put it on a card front. Actually, maybe I'll do it this way. Now these are all facing down. I don't know, people. The things that plague me. Okay, here we go. Mm, stupid dogs. Stop, or you're gonna get kicked out. This is the no barking cave. There's some big truck pulling up. I think they're going to the neighbors. Okay, so there's my card front. And I think what I'm going to do is I don't like the sentiment being so small and chunky. I think I like it. I would rather have a larger sentiment, but I'm really in need of birthday cards. So I am going to... I'm working on another stamp set. Give me a second, people. I need a birthday sentiment. Does anyone have one? Tell me one I should grab. Oh, here we go. This works. Timeless tulips. We'll do timeless tulips. 
and we're gonna use happy birthday. This is gonna be perfect. So, um, carrying a sentiment that is the right style and look is, I feel like is a really important piece of card making. So this is going to be an extremely uh, clean and simple card uh, with lots of white space. So I'm gonna kind of tuck the happy birthday in. And there it is. So that's fantastic for a masculine birthday card or a feminine. And it's a very clean and simple, lots of white space. White space is my thing. I love lots of white space. So these make me very happy. So here's our other one. And I am in desperate need of birthday cards because I send everybody on my team a birthday card and I'm really behind. So I'm trying to catch up. I'm trying, I'm trying. There's that. And then I'm gonna do exactly the same. Happy birthday, except this time we're gonna tuck it in this away. And done. And there's our two cards. Aren't those pretty? Simple, elegant, pretty. And you can see they line up. How fun is that? Super simple. So just sit and die cut a bunch of stuff and make a bunch of these cards. These are amazing. I love them. Split card making. Split card trick. That's what she called it. Really, really fun. Okay, I have a giveaway for today. We are gonna give away the Stitched So Sweetly Dies and So Sentimental stamp set. This is a bundle that I was given by a customer, Karen, who accidentally ordered two. And instead of her getting an exchange, she mailed these to me and included a note saying that she goofed up, ordered two, and she wanted me to pass these on and give them away. So we're gonna give those away. Here we go. Oh, Jules is a great idea, Shanna. Maybe we'll add that. So the winner is, dun, 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 Denise Cheadle. Congrats. Woohoo! Uh, let me write your name on here. I'm gonna actually write it on the back of Karen's note so that I don't forget. Now, if you already have this bundle and you want to pass it to somebody else, um, let me know and we can redraw the name. I don't know if Denise, and then I'm, I'm also giving away. This is my May, I'm sorry, March, uh, love and stampin' monthly kit. I had one left over due to unforeseen circumstances and I have the Easter promise stamp set. So I thought I would just give them away today so these these will go together here we go ready the winner is dun 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 uh come on stop scrolling here anytime today deborah walker miss deborah walker you are the winner that's handy because i'll be seeing deborah tomorrow fun congrats Okay, let me put her name on that. I'm grabbing whatever I have next to me. I just stuck my arm in the ink pad. Okay, <gasps> did I get something on here? I think I got a pencil mark. I sure did. Okay, let's get these out of the way so I don't mess them up, shall we? And I was gonna do something else. I think that was it, actually. Yeah. Okay, so that's it. I hope that you guys have an amazing rest of your day and evening. I actually have to rush off. Uh, the reason I got on early today is because my team event got moved to today because Stampin' Up! kind of had a fun event planned for us yesterday and I didn't know about it and it coincided with 
my team event. So I had to move my team event to tonight, which meant I had to move you guys up an hour. And so anyway, that's where we're at. So thank you so much for tuning. Oh, Jules, that's what I was going to do. I'm glad you commented, Shanna. I wanted to add some because that was a great idea. So let's do that. And I know exactly what I'm going to add. We are going to add some of the new Gilded Gems. These are available now. Um, they're available in May. And we are going to add some because I think these will be beautiful. Look how pretty those will complement. Such a great idea, Shanna. Thank you for saying that. Got to add gems. So some big ones and little ones. couple there. I actually want them tucked in. I don't want them out here in the white space. I kind of want them tucked in around the um, foliage. Just because I want to keep everything kind of on that one side. So there's that. Let's do this side. These really set it off. Such a fantastic idea, Shanna. Thank you. This was exactly what it needed. Just what the doctor ordered. One more. I, I can't do even numbers. It has to be odd numbered. So... Okay, there we go. So now we've got some beautiful gems. That is like the perfect thing to set these cards off. I think. Okay, all done. Thanks for hanging out with me and I'll catch you guys next week, Wednesday, 5 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. Bye-bye.